welcome to Smoke Shop Chronicles. I don't know if I'm going to call this that, <laughs> but that's funny. Um, all right, so here's a little story about what the fuck happened at work the last couple days. There was a homeless lady that pulled up to my job and uh she's been coming in she's first of all she's in a wheelchair so she doesn't come in she pulls up to the door and then like waves and then i walk to the door i open the door i'm like hey sweetheart how's your fucking day what's up what can i get for you yada yada right um so she always wants a pre-roll delta eight joint right and um she'll like She's like, hey, sweetie, can I get one of them $5 Indicas? And I'm like, yeah, baby, what's up? Give me that. So, she digs in her fucking tits, and she'll pull out, like, fucking five sweaty-ass, fucking gross, literally wretched smelling dollar bills. And, like, you can smell them once, like, first of all, they're, like, wet and crumpled. And, like, when you put them into the drawer... They don't feel like the other dollar bills are just like weird and uh but like when you put them in there and they hibernate in that drawer for a minute, they rumiate and shit, bro. They fucking stink like shit. My whole drawer stinks like shit. Anytime, I, like I gag, I retch when I open the fucking drawer. It's fucking disgusting. But so this lady, let me give you like a a physical description real quick. So she's in a wheelchair. She doesn't wear shoes. She's a white lady. Uh, if she stood up, she would be probably less than five foot tall. Like, she is a, a, a short woman. But she just wears, like, um, you know, like, workout pants and, like, a tank top, right? But, like, she's... Ah, uh, fuck. I, don't, I couldn't... Age her if I could, I couldn't put an age on her if I wanted. I want to say she's like sixty something. She's like she's old, right? She's an old woman, older woman. She's got like she's not completely gray, but she's getting there. But like her feet are just spider webbed with white dried skin and callus, and it's like. They they probably feel like a brick. If you if you touch the bottom of her foot, it would feel like a goddamn brick. But I, I I'm sure her toenails could not be clipped by average ton, toenail clippers. Like she is, there's her feet are just like made of stone at this point. Like right, and somehow she has almost a full beard of like. Kyle. Two and a half. She needs a specialist. Like two and a half to three inch gray hairs coming out of her chin, but they're sparse, right? But there's definitely enough to consider it a beard. Um, short hair, yeah, but like she's a yeah, she she's a character for sure. But anyway, so she pulls up, right, and she always wants these like five dollar pre rolls, and. Like, she'll knock on the door or whatever, and I'll come over there and I'll be like, hey, how you doing? Yada, yada. She's like, let me get one of those $5 pre-rolls. She'll be like, let me get one of those $5 pre-rolls or whatever, and then I will, like, go get her pre-roll, bring it back to her. And then right before she, like, rolls away into the sunset, she always says some crazy-ass fucking shit, right? So... The last one, like, I can remember was she, like, I gave her the $5 pre-roll, and she's like, hey, you know what to do if they don't give you antibiotics, right? And I was like, no, what? And she's like, you take a bath in black tea, and you'll watch bugs crawl out of your skin, and they're as hard as stone. And then she just fucking rolls away. How the fuck do you say that to somebody and then just leave? Okay? How do you just say, oh yeah, bugs are going to crawl out of your fucking skin hard as stone, but that's it. Just leave. Yep. Okay. So then the next day she comes over and she goes, um, 
Baby, I only got $2.50. Do you think you could help me with a pre-roll? Well, that day I had got a couple dollars in tips. So I was like, yeah, I'll give you $3. That's fine. I'll, I'll pay for it for you. No problem. And I give it to her. And, you know, she's being all sweet and shit. She's being really fucking nice. And um, she didn't say anything super weird. Uh, she, I, I'm sure she said something in passing, but like I just kind of like brushed it off because I'm used to like dealing with her every day. You know what I mean? But then the next day, she came, and she's like, "I only got, I only got two fifty. You think you can help me with a pre roll?" And I was like, "Okay, I see what's happening here. Like this is gonna turn into a. It used to be a five dollar pre roll. Now you think you can just get a two dollar and fifty cent pre roll all the time?" I can't do that. That's not how it works. You know, yada, yada. I explained to her, you know, hey, I can't just give you this pre-roll for 250. I paid for it out of my own pocket last time. I can't help you that like that this time. And she gets visibly mad. And she's like, what do you mean? You can't help me. And she's like, why you you guys got gummies in there that cost $4 and you're charging people 32. And I was like, um, Kyle, I don't know you what you're them an inch and they take a mile. Oh, absolutely. That's how it works. Uh, but I was like, no, I don't, um, I don't, I don't know what you mean about the gummies, but, um, if you want me to price gummies for you, I can price gummies for you, whatever. But I just, I just can't afford to help you. You know what I mean? And, uh, she goes, Oh, that's okay. I'm going to talk to your boss and I'm going to get you fired. And, uh, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I was like, I literally just gave you three dollars of my own money yesterday to get you a pre-roll. And she goes, you've never given me anything. And I was like, you don't remember coming here yesterday and giving me $2 and 50 cents and leaving with a $5 pre-roll. And she's like, no, you might be thinking about my sister and everything in my fucking body Wanted to be like, oh, so there's two crusty-footed fucking goddamn goblins rolling around here with gray beards in wheelchairs asking me for fucking pre-rolls. But I restrained myself, and I was like, no, it was you. You asked me for the pre-roll. I gave it to you for 250 I paid the other three fucking dollars, or the other fucking whatever. I paid the rest of it. Because all you had was two fifty, I can't do that for you today. And she got pissed off, and she fucking rolled away. Then, the next day, she came, and she was like, "Hey, can I? I only got two fifty. Can I get a pre roll?" And I was like, "No." I was like, "No." It, they cost five dollars. Which is me still being generous because they cost five dollars and thirty cents. I just ring them up as five because those people are fucking homeless and annoying, and I don't want to fucking spend any extra fucking time doing the shit I have to do. I tried so hard to be fucking nice to this lady, right? Then she like did the take advantage of me bullshit, fucking yada yada. Came back, tried to do it fucking again, and. Everything in me wanted to be like, but I didn't. Everything in me wanted to be like, oh, so was that your sister or you who came by yesterday asking for the 250 pre roll? And I told them that they couldn't get it because I want to make sure that both of you guys know that the pre rolls cost $5. You know what I mean? But I didn't say that shit. I was just like, nope, they cost five bucks. And then. She huffled and puffled off, like rolled off, like almost burnt out. She was like, and took off <laughs> into the fucking sunset or whatever. After I told her, no, you, they cost fucking $5. That's what they fucking cost. So then she goes off, uh, like an hour or so passes, and then she comes back. And she, usually she knocks on the door, and then I open the door, and then she, I go over there to like, help her at the door because we don't have like a handicap accessible entrance Slumped right out. so find me on everything HDT she literally like she like struggled to like rip the fucking door open 
force herself into the fucking store, come up to my fucking little kiosk area or whatever and go, I would like a $5 pre-roll and here is my $5. (laughs) And I wanted to be like, well, it's (laughs) $5.30. But there's something in me that like, you don't punch down, right? You don't. You don't punch down. That's just something I'll never fucking do, man. I, I will never punch down. I can't do it. So I was like, "Yeah, five bucks." And then she literally like reaches in and like fucking digs this shit out of the, like the fucking crevices of her fucking under tit. It, it took her like a solid 47 seconds to get all of the bills out from underneath her fucking tits. So it wasn't like a, like a, oh, it was in my tit. I'm not going to say anything about it. It was like a. Digging for it, bro. There was a part. There was a part where she thought she lost it going across the street. Yeah, she thought she lost it going across the street. And, like, wheeled halfway out. And then, like, oh, wait, wait, I thought it was bad, bad, bad. And, like, went into this, like, bag and shit. And I was like, I am not giving it to you for $250. i am not giving it to you for $250, bitch. You're paying the five. And five is me being nice. You're paying the five. And that's me being nice. God damn it. So then, after all the bullshit. I can save her. I want to meet her. (laughs) So then, she gets her fucking joint. She leaves. She comes back fucking today. (laughs) Pulls up to the door. Waves at me. I go out to the fucking door. (laughs) And I'm like, hey, what's it going to be? Uh... And she's like, let me get one of those $5 pre-rolls. I was like, okay. She gives me a five. I go get the pre-roll. I give her the pre-roll. And then she goes, hey, you know when you see somebody tied up and restrained with duct tape over their mouth? That's real. And I was like, what do you mean? And she's like, when you see it, when you see people tied up with rope, with duct tapes over their mouth and zip ties on their hands. That's real. And I was like, where are you seeing this? And she's like, on the internet. And I was like, oh, well, I mean, you see a lot of shit on the internet, you know? And she goes, no, it's real. I saved five of them today. And I'm going to save another one right now. And then she just rolled away. She just rolled the fuck away. She's a goddamn hero. Justin with. Welcome. She's a goddamn Angel hero. Home. I'm what? 